Hello again, hola, and thank you for finding me here at my YouTube channel, Benidorm and Beyond. I produce positive, fun and informative vlogs about this resort where I have lived for well over 20 years now. So please come along and join me on my daily adventures and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of my brand new content. Today's video brings you the news that the police and the authorities are watching you by land and by sea, but don't worry, this is to keep you safe. The brand new information initiative aims to draw attention to some of the well-known and lesser-known problems that may occur here in Benidorm during the high season, which include both sanitary recommendations related to heat and high temperatures, and also tackle the issue of the welfare and safety of all our tourists to avoid anyone being a victim of illegal practices. The campaign literature, which includes posters, canopies and LED information screens, leads with the slogan Tus mejores vacaciones en Benidorm, meaning your best holidays in Benidorm, and has been published in both Spanish and English so everyone can benefit from the advice. In addition, as the Councillor for Citizen Security, Jesus Caropoles, stated, 500 posters will also be distributed amongst local hoteliers to give out to their guests and the operation will also be promoted with a high presence on social networks to further spread the word. So, what is this all-important device? Well, in terms of safety measures, the campaign firstly alludes to the practice of trile, which is the proper name for the game that we all see played by the pea men or potato men, where unsuspecting tourists are drawn in to lay down cash and then guess where a pea is under a series of three cups being moved around on a makeshift cardboard table, and then subsequently either being swindled out of their money during the game, or maybe even being robbed at the same time. The posters and other media inform tourists that this is not a game, but in fact a scam, and therefore they should not be fooled or tempted to play. The second safety concern regards something that has been reported on a lot recently in the British media, especially online, which is the warning about the beach sellers who walk up and down all day selling so-called sex on the beach cocktails out of large plastic glasses to thirsty sunbathers who are desperate for a drink and don't want to leave the comfort of their towels or sunbeds. The campaign warns that the sale of drinks without sanitary control is a danger to health and that the people who offer these drinks on the beaches should not be trusted since these drinks lack any guarantee of quality or sanitary control. And in fact, as many of you may know who have watched my first of the month beachfront walk vlogs, I've pointed out these vendors before, who often hide in the side streets and make their drinks over drains and sewers with the cheapest ingredients, ready to sell at premium prices on our beautiful Benidorm beaches, absolutely disgusting. Other recommendations include pointers on how to survive the fierce Spanish sun, and although most of it seems like just common sense, the amount of burnt, dehydrated Brits with red shoulders and faces walking around the resort at any given time certainly points to the fact that many holidaymakers seem to leave their nows at home when they travel abroad and completely forget to protect themselves or just get carried away the excitement of being on their holes, or maybe it's the alcohol that makes them forget, I couldn't possibly say. With this in mind, it is of course advised to limit direct exposure to the sun, to avoid physical exercise during the central hours of the day, to always protect yourself with a high factor sun cream and to ventilate the rooms in your accommodation frequently. Regarding clothing, the advice is to wear light coloured clothing which covers most of the body, so I think they're pretty much fighting a losing battle with that one here in Benidorm, whilst paying special attention to the extra sensitive area of your head. It also warns of the danger of leaving children, the elderly or pets inside vehicles, which again seems obvious to most, but yet accidents and fatalities still occur again and again. The Councillor for Citizen Security, Jesus Carobles, pointed out that with this campaign we want our visitors to have accessible and visible information at all times to avoid unpleasant experiences and on the contrary that they can enjoy their holidays in Benidorm. It should also be noted, as reported by Benidorm's mayor, Tony Perez, the town hall has also reinforced the police presence on the city's beaches this summer, with an increase of the number of officers assigned to the surveillance of the beaches, coves and other sandy areas. The surveillance regime will see 16 agents out on patrol during the busiest hours of the day, not only on the beach and on the promenades, but also from the water and from the air, thanks to the inflatable Zodiac boats way out on the Mediterranean Sea, and also due to the support from the drone service team who keep an eye on us all from up above. In the meantime, the local police will continue to act and pursue any unauthorised practices on the beaches that they see and denounce and punish offenders, whilst the beach section of the force will also be reinforced this summer with the arrival of new agents thanks to eight new service commissions. 
All this just goes to show what great work the Town Hall, its many councillors in its many departments and the police forces do for us behind the scenes here in Benidorm. And whilst there can be a lot of frustration that more isn't done to clean up the seedier sides of the resort or that people like the P-Men can't seemingly be taken off the streets once and for all, special high visibility bilingual campaigns like this must surely help. And here's to the safety, well-being and happiness of everyone that chooses to holiday here in Benidorm this year and for many years to come as well of course as its year-round citizens like myself and other workers and pensioners who live here too. I hope that you've enjoyed today's latest news update about our beloved resort with me and if you did please join me again for more of my local updates and news bulletins, detailed street and beachfront walks as well as reviews on Benidorm's most popular hotels, cafes, bars and new businesses. Thanks so much for watching as always and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Muchas gracias, catch you soon and bye for now. Cheers!